Hello and welcome back to WTMJ's Get Understanding broadcast. I am Pastor Eddie LaRogue and with me is Pastor Pierre Roman Eliassin. This is WTMJ Get Understanding broadcast. It is a Bible teaching in full context according to historical setting as we always rightly divide the word of truth yes yes that's right <laughs> so you can call us mm -hmm. at 888-434-9865 888-434-WTMJ and to reach us by snail mail <laughs> send your correspondence and support for the ministry to p.o box 642 holbrook new york 11741 we never want to start our broadcast without prayer. So we're going to ask Pastor Eddie to pray for us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for yet another opportunity to speak your word, to teach your word. That is a privilege. Your word gives light. It unfolds our understanding. And this is what we ask of you, of this teaching today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. We are closing our teaching on active and passive obedience of Christ. Yes. Yes. So, Pastor Izzy, this is part four. This was a powerful teaching. I agree. We loved it. Yes. And, and we also mm -hmm. got some pretty good feedback, feedback yes. from folks mm -hmm. so definitely this is something that you want to go back yes. a few times yes. and and take notes on and keep meditating yes. upon because this is part four so try to go to part one yes two three so you can really understand the full context of the teaching even we're going to do a little summary in all of them now yes so we have three objectives Pastor Eddie already been covered right so what did was mm -hmm. so we covered one mm -hmm. what was the active obedience of Christ Two, what was the passive obedience of Christ mm -hmm. and now we are going to cover what we must act upon well yes how must we act upon absolutely both? so because before we're talking about are we must act upon both let's give you a summary really quick on active and passive obedience of Christ. So let me just do it as a QA. Okay. Pastor Eddie, what is active? Active is doing or causing something. That's what active is. And what is passive? Passive is accepting. Mm -hmm. And another way that I like to say it, which we said uh, in the other video, mm -hmm. is not resisting. Yes. 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 And what is obedience? It's to comply. Well, so you're going to comply with an order or what a person is doing. For exactly. You. But one thing I want to add, Pastor Eddie, anytime you hear the word obedience. Yes. What does it mean? Always connected with the law. The law. Okay. Obedience always connect with the law. Okay. We will talk about that later on. Okay. So when we were talking about last time, active obedience of Christ, we were talking about what, Pastor Eddie? What does that mean, active obedience of Christ? We said and we remain saying mm -hmm. it's the absolute perfect obedience Amen. of Jesus as a man to God's law. As a man to God's law. That's right. So when we talk about obedience, active obedience of Christ is what God, what Jesus Christ has done accordingly to the law of god yes on our behalf i want you to really really get that clearly jesus came on earth as our representation and he act on upon god's eternal law we cannot fulfill we cannot obey truly 
But God's law, you cannot bound it. You cannot say, okay, I obey 99.99%. No, 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 no. Either you obey 100% or zero. So Jesus Christ came and he fulfilled obediently, perfectly, absolutely perfectly, all the requirements of God's law on our behalf. That's what they call active obedience of Jesus Christ. And so please mm -hmm. let that soak in mm -hmm. that Jesus did all that you and I were supposed Amen. to have done Amen. and could not do, which Amen. we'll get to see mm -hmm. shortly. Yes. So as you know, Pastor Andy, no one can truly fulfill perfectly all the requirements of the law. No one. And 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 and, and Pastor Andy, what is beautiful about the Bible and I love the story of the Bible is alive and we can still look at what happened in the Bible and project what is going on right now. Yes. Something happened in Acts chapter 15. What was happening in Pastor Andy? So in Acts mm -hmm. 15, which is called the Jerusalem Council, yes. there was a debate mm -hmm. between uh, the disciples. Yes. There was an influx of new yes. believers, mm -hmm. Gentiles. Yes. And they actually, the, the Jewish um, folks wanted mm -hmm. the new believers Gentiles. to follow mm -hmm. the law which they, and we're going to see, mm -hmm. they were not able to do themselves. Now talk to us about why that was, Pastor pa Pierre. Pastor Eddie, for years, they've been under the Judaism. Yes. Under the law. Yes. And then they become Christians by faith. And then now Gentiles who never been in the circle of religious or circle of the law come and join the church. And now they think about, oh, hold on, those people just come and they're going to have the same benefit like us. Too easy. That's too easy because we've been doing, we've been, we've been trying, by the way, right. not doing because they never been according to the Bible. They weren't successful at it. Guess what? Even though they knew they cannot follow the law, even though they knew they've been fell over and over, they say, you know, what not trying to put under those Gentiles certain law? So, a few disciples said, no, 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 we cannot do that. Some of them say, yes, we have to do that. So that's why they come together and they have that debate. But thank God, the Holy Spirit intervened. Yes, and indeed. And in Acts 15, verse 10, this is what God, through Peter, said. Yes. Now, therefore, mm -hmm. why are you putting God to the test mm -hmm. by placing a yoke on the neck of the disciples that neither our fathers nor we have been able to bear? So, you see, Pastor Eddie, they cannot bear it, but they want someone else to do it. That's a man for you. That's, that's hypocrisy right there. So, that was, Pastor Eddie, the active obedience of Christ. Mm -hmm. And... Let me summarize that in a few words. Jesus, as a man, lived a life of sinless perfection in full accordance to God's holy law. He perfectly fulfilled all righteousness by his active obedience. Therefore, he earned merit before God Almighty on behalf of anyone who believes in him. And that is the active obedience of Jesus. And then now, Pastor Eddie, talk to me about the passive obedience. So the passive obedience of Jesus mm -hmm. the Christ yes. refers to Jesus' death yes. on the cross mm -hmm. as the atoning sacrifice for the sins of of the whole world so easy active doing something mm -hmm. passive accepting something that's right so active obedient as we say it jesus did everything we should do passive 
on the cross, he accept everything. So, Pastor Eddie, the Bible said in John 3 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Everyone, Pastor Eddie, I'm sure they know that verse. Yes. But do you know? In the same chapter, there is a verse 36. Yes. What is said, Pastor Eddie? He who believes in the Son mm -hmm. has everlasting life. That is clear. And he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. As beautiful the gospel is, and we want to be really calm with all our excitement inside, but to try to communicate the best we can to you. As lovely God is, as gracious God is, God asks us to do one thing. Believe in His Son, Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, my friend, the verse is clear. He who believes in the Son has eternal life. There is no debate in that. And then he said, he who does not believe the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abide on him. So, Pastor Eddie, this is why I want you to read that for me, Pastor Eddie. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Yes. Jesus Christ died for the sins of the whole world. The whole world. It does not mean that Jesus' death provides salvation for the whole world. I want Pastor Eddie to read that because those two verses, I put them together for you to understand that. Yes, he died for the whole world. But that doesn't mean the whole world will be saved. Because there is one thing you have to do. Is receive. Is accept what he has done. Remember, we're talking about active and passive obedience of Jesus Christ. He has done everything on our behalf. He received everything for us. But what about us? what we have to do and that how we're going to cover the last part of our teaching my brothers and sisters therefore, therefore mm -hmm. we believers in christ jesus mm -hmm. are justified before the holy god amen by the perfect righteousness of christ being credited to our account amen oh. yes now because of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. when God looks at us, Amen. He sees the righteousness, righteousness of Christ. Of Christ. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Not our sins, which has been canceled by the passive obedience of Christ. Listen. That is when Jesus was on the cross, Passe all that he took. Passe di, take your time because I'm going to ask you to read that again for me. Because that is the summary of the teaching. It is. For us. We explain to you what he has done. We explain to you how he received everything. But all that has to connect with us. Yes. So that, what Pastor is going to read again, and I want you to pay attention, is a summary of that teaching in the perspective of us toward his active and passive obedience. Therefore, mm -hmm. we believers in Christ Jesus are justified before the Holy God. Justified. Right standing. Amen. Justified. Right standing. Mm -hmm. By the perfect righteousness of Christ being credited to our account. Now, because of Jesus Christ, yes. when God looks at us, Hallelujah. 
Praise he sees the righteousness Hallelujah. of Christ, not our sins, Amen. which has been canceled by the passive obedience of Christ. So, through the passive obedience of Jesus Christ, all believers' sins have been paid for. And the sin death we have before God is forever erased. Praise God. Do you understand the beauty of the gospel? This is why Christianity is not man trying to reach God. Is God reaching mankind. Through the passive obedience of Jesus Christ, all believers' sin have been paid for. And the sin that we have before God is forever erased. So now, let us put together the teaching so we can close. Active obedience. Jesus has done everything for you and I. Passive obedience. At the cross, he accept to receive everything for you and I. What about us? We need to act. We have our own active obedience and we have our own passive obedience. Now we're going to put it together. Pastor Eddie, the active obedience of Jesus Christ is our passive here we go. Obedience. The opposite. Our passive obedience. And what does that mean? What Jesus has done, we just receive it. This is how God called us the righteousness of God. We did not do anything good. We become the righteousness Amen. of God. Amen. Focus with me. Is our passive obedience is our passive obedience. It's the opposite. It works. He has done everything and we receive everything. Amen. So now, is passive obedience is our active, active obedience. obedience. Is active was what? Is, is passive was what? He accept everything and we have to do one thing believe what he has done on the cross and that is all that we need Pastor to do Eddie. that's all we need to do we don't need to complicate it we don't need to add to it because it's perfect everything is done Dear friend, as we close in, please pay attention. God in his holiness want only one thing, absolute perfection. You and I, from billions, billions of years, will never be able to do so. Jesus came and act upon God's law 100% on your behalf that is his active obedience and you you receive it that's your passive obedience at the cross jesus took all your sins that is his passive obedience and you you act upon him not even by obedience pastor is it by faith all we gotta do is by believing yes because remember, obedience is connected with the law. He has done all that for us. And we, we have to believe what he has done. Amen? And that we can do. So we will be closing yes. with that. Amen. And we're looking forward to you tuning in to our next broadcast. Amen. So in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your amazing love toward us. Thank you 
for the active obedience of Christ, we receive as our passive obedience. And thank you for the passive obedience of Christ who took all and we actively receive it by faith, believing in that and make us whole before you. We praise you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. See you next time. God bless you.